Dinobro Stone. In the United States, Dinobro Stone is available as an endocervical gel, endocervical insert, and vaginal suppository. Additional dosage forms and the products, similar names but different indications, are also available in Canada. Prostaglandin, used for cervical ripening for labor induction. The endocervical gel promotes cervical ripening in patients at or near term in whom there is a medical or obstetrical indication for the induction of labor. Oral tablet form for the elective induction of labor when indications for induction of labor exist. Premature rupture of amniotic membranes, toxemia of pregnancy, rhesus, in, rhesus incompatibility, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, post maturity, intrauterine death or fetal growth retardation. Vaginal gel, induction of labor in patients at or near term with single pregnancy, vertex presentation, and favorable induction features. Vaginal insert, initiation and or continuation of cervical ripening in patients at or near term in whom there is a medical or obstetrical indication for the induction of the mechanism of action. Dinoprostone, prostaglandin E2, is an endogenous hormone found in low concentrations in most tissues of the body, when administered for labor induction, it relaxes the smooth muscle of the cervix, allowing dilatation and the, and the passage of the fetus through the birth canal. Onset of action, uterine contractions for vaginal suppository within 10 minutes. Duration for vaginal insert, 0.3 mg per hour over 12 hours. For vaginal suppository, up to 2 to 3 hours. Half-life elimination, 2.5 to 5 minutes. Time to peak, endocervical gel, 30 to 45 minutes. FDA approval date is August 23, 1977.